like the people of God say amen. amen. Like we say amen again. Amen. We have come into this holy and sacred place to celebrate the life of a sure enough child of God. I should hear some amens. A child of God who was faithful in her church family, who served to the glory of God. And I am asking if we could just for a moment, a moment, a few seconds, suspend some of our tears and grief and put their joy because we know right now because of Jesus' promise that she is with the Lord. Absent from the body, present with the Lord. Can we praise God by the clapping of our hands as we have come to worship a mighty God? The friends of the family are standing to the glory of God as our diaconate ministry will usher in this family to the glory of God. We are all standing. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies, came upon me to seek out violence, they stumbled and fell. Though a host should encamp against me, in this will I be confident. For one thing have I desired of the Lord, and that will I seek after. I may dwell in the house of the Lord forever. For in the time of trouble, you have hidden me in your secret pavilion. You have set me up and hidden me behind a rock. Hear, O oh Lord, when I cry with my voice. And unto thee and unto thy face do I seek. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. For thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me. O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of mine enemies. Deliver me not over to the will of mine enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against me, and as such breathe out cruelty. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Might the people of God say amen. amen. Might every head be bowed. Our Father and our God, we invoke now your power, your presence, your peace, and your protection. As we have come into this holy place to lift up the life and the legacy of one of your children, we give you the praise and the glory that you sent Sister Wilson this way. And we shout together, hallelujah. 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 In Jesus' name, Jesus. Amen. amen. The people of God might be seated. 
as we have come into this house to celebrate the life and the legacy and the love of Mary Wilson, we have come to worship God for the life that he gave and for the life that he has taken to himself. All persons who are on program, will you please come to the sacred desk as you are listed? You will not be called upon, but just come forward as you are designated in the bulletin for a particular task. We have come to celebrate the power, the presence, and the protection of a mighty God who was with Sister Barry Wilson for a mighty long time. And all together now, we say thank you. Thank you. Come on and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. A ministry of music. church Psalm 23 the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want he maketh me lie down in green pastures he leadeth me beside still waters he restoreth my soul 
he leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemy. Thine anointest my head with oil, my cup overflow. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Good evening. Good evening. Today's verse will be taken from John 14, 1 through 6. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's houses are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. And whither I go, ye know, and the way, ye know. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but me. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Hallelujah. I just want to say to the family, on behalf of our family, we love you. Amen. And I want to say to you, for those that are from Lamb Avenue, Lamb Avenue, we had some great celebrations. Amen. And some great celebration. And this is the finale for Miss Mary, as we called her. Amen. This is a celebration of life. So what I need you to do is act like you know that she has gone on to a great place. Amen. Far greater, the Bible says. Can you put your hands together even before I pray to honor this great woman of God. Amen. To honor the life that she lived. Come on, you're here today because she touched you in some kind of way. And so we just say to the family, God is with you and so are we. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, God, we bless you. We honor you. We thank you for your presence in this place. We thank you for your love, your grace, and your mercy towards us. Now, Father, I pray for this family that they will, too, rely on the, the love and the, the faith that she had, that they would rely on that same love and faith, God, to carry them through this time. God, I pray that you would be their joy, be their strength, be their peace. God, we know that your word declares that weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. So, Father, I pray that they will continue to look to the hills from whence cometh their help, because all of their help comes from you. Father, I pray, God, that they, oh God, will remember to laugh when they remember the memories of, that they've made over the years, God. I pray, God, that they would put a smile on their faith at they look back and remember the, the laughter of their mother and their grandmother and their great grandmother. Father, I pray, God, that you would turn, oh God, their sorrow into joy. Father, I pray that you would continue to lead them and guide them in the days ahead, that they would dwell, oh God, in your presence. Father, that they would lean on one another, but most of all, lean on you. Father, I thank you for the legacy of love, laughter, and faith that Miss Mary left, oh God, to her generation. Father, I pray that they would continue, oh God, to pursue, God, a relationship like she had with you. 
And so, Father, I thank you that you will continue to have your way. God, we thank you that your servant daughter has crossed over from labor to reward. And, God, we celebrate that on today. Father God, let this family know, God, that the same God that was with Mary Wilson is the same God that will be with them in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, we bless you, and we honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Ma Wilson was mother to me as well, and this is my family, my extended family. I love her, and she means so much to me, and what a good servant of the Lord she was. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Join with her husband in heaven. Hallelujah. Daddy Wilson. Hallelujah. If you want to know where I'm going, where I'm going soon. If anybody asks you where I'm going, where I'm
body, present with the Lord, resting peacefully in the master's arms. That's something to shout about. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Good afternoon, church. I'm Trinity Baptist Church, family of the late sister Mary J. Wilson. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Psalms 34, 18. The now and beyond ministry of the Trinity Baptist Church wishes to extend our, help, our heartfelt condolences for the loss of Sister Mary Jean Wilson. Sister Wilson was a longtime member of the Trinity family, a faithful servant to God's people, and a lifelong friend in her community. Truly, she lived her life in a way that glorified God and edified his people here on earth. And now we believe she is living in eternity with the Lord. We realize that only the promise of in God's holy word can comfort you and your family during this period of grief. Psalm 46 teaches us that God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. The Psalms ends with the promise that the Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Family and friends, we encourage you to look to God, who is the source of your strength. He will turn your mourning into joy and give your gladness for sorrow. The members of this ministry will keep you and your family in our thoughts and prayers now and beyond. Yours in Christ, Sister Viola Carl, now and beyond ministry president, Reverend A. Lincoln James, pastor. So from Trinity Baptist Church, whereas the pastor, officers, and members of the Trinity Baptist Church desire to record their deepest sorrow in the home going of one of its members, the late sister Mary Jean Wilson on March 28, 2024. Be it resolved that Trinity Baptist Church hereby gives formal expressions of our loss in the home going of Sister Wilson, and it is hereby noted in the records of the passing from this life. Sister Mary was a faithful, dedicated, loyal member of Trinity Baptist Church for many years, having served on the soup kitchen ministry, choir, and prison ministry. Therefore, it is only in moments like these do we know in the fullest measure the con consolidated consolidation of God's promise. I am the resurrection and the life, saith the Lord. He that believes in me, though he, were, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Therefore, it is in the fellowship of this faith that we extend a loving hand of sympathy and understanding. Done by the order of the Trinity Baptist Church, A. Lincoln James, pastor. Thank you. the Lord all my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name hallelujah <clears throat> <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
Because the Lord is my shepherd, I have everything that I need. He lets me rest in the meadow's grass, yes, and He leads me beside the quiet stream. Stars, my fair hands, and he helps me to do what honors him the most. That's why I'm safe. That's why I'm safe. That's why I'm safe. I have every little thing that I need. He lets me, lets me rest in the meadow's grass. Yes, he does. And he leads me beside the quiet streams. He restores. And he helps me to do what, what honors him the most. That's why I'm safe, so safe. That's why I'm safe. That's why I'm safe. of life is raging hallelujah and the billows the billows the billows the billows they they roll yes they roll they roll they roll i'm so glad that i'm i'm so glad that i'm so safe so safe so glad that I'm so safe in the master's arms. She saved, mom is safe. I'm so safe. I'm so glad I'm safe. I'm so glad I'm safe in the master's arms. He holds me, he holds me, he holds me. He hides me in the secret of his tabernacle. I'm safe. I'm safe. God's hands of protection. I'm safe, I'm safe, I'm safe. I'm so safe, I'm so safe from harm, from danger. Nothing can touch me because I'm in the master's arms. I'm safe, I'm safe, I'm safe. I'm, I'm so glad, I'm so glad that I'm safe in the master's arms. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, yes, I am. I'm safe, I'm so safe in his heart. I, 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 I'm so safe, I'm so safe in his arms. Nothing can touch me. I'm so safe, so safe. Hallelujah, Jesus. In his arms, my healing is taking place, my deliverance taking place in his arms. I'm so safe, safe in his arms. I'm so, 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 so safe. I'm safe in his in his arms. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put your hands together and praise God for a wonderful musical ministry. God is good. Come on, repeat that. God is. Give me a little more power here. God is good to me. And I am safe. Say it with power. I am safe in his arms. Go on and praise him. He's been a good God. Put your hands together and say, thank you, Jesus. Every head is bowed. Repeat after me. Bless us with this word. Teach us, instruct us with this word. Comfort us. Inspire us with this word at this hour. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Amen. The word of God for the people of God comes to us from the 116th Psalm at the 8th verse. I want you to be kind enough to repeat after me this particular text and repeat after me with power and the Holy Ghost authority. Repeating after me right now. He has saved me from death. My eyes from tears. My feet. My feet from stumbling. We want to reason with you at this hour with this thought in our mind. Saved from death, tears, and stumbling. Saved from death, from tears, and stumbling. This psalm is written by a man who has been tested and true and tried as he has made his journey up Practical Avenue and down the paths of life. I think you know him. If you don't know him, you've heard of him. His name is David. Does anybody, has anybody ever heard of him? David, a shepherd boy, soon to become the king of Israel. David, a scoundrel on one hand and a great guy on the other. David. Sounds like us, doesn't it? It's a little good, a little bad. But in spite of everything, we trust God. This is a day that we must trust him the most. And what this text tells us is that God saves every last one of us from the troubles of this life. Does anybody believe that? And I believe that there's some people here who could testify that I was down and God picked me up. I was lost and God found me. And so because of that testimony, on today, we are going to celebrate a life with a sense of joy and glory. Because the awesome truth about this day is that Sister Mary is not in the beautiful, expensive box. If I'm right, say amen. All that's in that box is the tent. That's what the Bible calls this thing called flesh. The tent, the tabernacle, the house that she used to live in. She don't live there no more. She is absent from the body, present with the Lord. And for that fact alone, we give God praise and glory. Come on and put your hands together. Let God know you believe it. What David
David is telling us at this hour under the unction of the Holy Spirit, it's some of the most trying times in life centers around death, tears, and stumbling. As I look at the people who are in front of me, this is not a group of teenage girls and boys. This is a mature crowd. Come on, say amen. And what that means is most of us, if not all of us, have been around the block more than two times. We know how tricky the devil is. We know how fickle our friends can be. We know that people will smile in your face and stab you in your back. But God has kept every last one of us through it all, if I'm right about it. So he has delivered, David says, my soul. He didn't say delivered my body. He said my soul from death. And in the Hebrew thinking, we must not look at this word, save my soul from death, thinking that it means the same thing now or then than it means now because their concept of death, what he's talking about is God saved him from eternal death. When we think of death, we think of the cessation of life. Heart stops beating. Organs don't work. But what he is talking about is what happens after the heart stops beating. There is a soul. I didn't hear the right amen. I said there is a soul. Because the Bible says at the very beginning, God made man out of the dust. And when he was formed, man was not really man yet until God breathed on him. Then he became what you and I are today, living souls. Am I talking to anybody? Living souls. Because this flesh will not inherit eternity. But thanks be to God, we've got a soul. So, the part of us that God made, and God has invited every last one of us to believe in his son that we may be at what the world calls physical death, we will go beyond that and have eternal life. It's a promise. I said it's a promise. It's a promise from a God that never lied because his son said, I go to prepare a place for you that where I am there, ye might be also there. I really don't know where there is. I don't have a map. I have not engaged or conversed with anybody that can tell me the direct path. All I know is that Jesus said, if you trust me, if you believe in me, beyond the grave, you will be there with me. Is there anybody here wants to be there? Give God some praise. Shout hallelujah. Shout glory to his name because the truth of the matter is none of us would be here today without the power and presence of God we are all dependent some people don't think so but I dare you to get sick some people don't think I dare you to lose the little money you got come on talk back to me and you will soon learn that the old folks won't crazy. He woke me up this morning. Started me on my way. The alarm didn't wake me up. Mama didn't. Daddy didn't. Aunt didn't. Wife didn't. He woke us up. Is there anybody here know God woke you up? 
And so we've come to celebrate. We can suspend our tears for just a moment because we know this. Sister Mary is absolutely all right. Right now, it's the family that's not all right. Come on, talk back to me. It's the family who feels the pain and the grief and the sorrow of separation. But God, y'all not hearing me. God is going to give you everything you need to go through this valley. And I want you to know today that the devil don't want you to go through. Oh, he wants you to go home, shut all the doors, shut the mouths of the children up, put them to bed, cut the TV off, put the windows down, put the shades down, and grieve and grieve and sorrow and have your own personal pity party. But I come to declare God is not going to let that happen. You're going to walk out of here with your head up high knowing beyond the shadow of a doubt, Mary's all right. I can be all right. Because one day, I will see her again. Does anybody believe it? And so with that understanding, all that we can do now is say, thank you, Lord. Say it, thank you, Lord. Thank you for the life, the love, the legacy of a great woman of God. Am I right about it? And so with that in mind, we go to the place of interment. We are not interring Mary. She's over there. Somebody say there. All that we are interring in the ground is the part of us that is perishable which means if you go to the grocery store and there's a sign that this particular item is perishable, you know one thing, you better hurry up and get it. Because if you don't, and if you don't see the warning signs, you're the one that's going to go to the emergency room with stomach problems. Come on, talk back to me. Because it's what? It's perishable. But thanks be to God, there is an eternity. And God will receive us in eternity. And the Bible says he will know us, we will know him, and all power will be in his hand. Somebody say hallelujah. Come on and give God some praise. Might every head be bowed. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord the life and legacy and love and laughter of a woman of God you sent you lent and now you have taken her unto yourself and we say thank you in Jesus name hallelujah amen our funeral directors are coming forward now as the people of God will stand. The family will remain seated at the direction of our funeral directions. Everybody, friends of the family, will you be kind enough to stand just where you are? Not the family, friends of the family. Thank you so much. God bless you.
we are going to see the king. Is the strength of my life. 